Hi, in this video, I will demonstrate how to inspect butt welds using the new Surfex Weld Probe from ZTEC. So here I have a carbon steel plate with a weld bead down the center. Um, it has a transverse groove going across the plate uh, that can be used to calibrate the probe. Uh, it also has several EDM notches to represent flaws. Um, it has three transverse and three axial EDM notches, uh, one of each on the crown, in the toe, and in the heat affected zone. Additionally, it has a 45 degree EDM notch in the heat affected zone. Right. I will scan this weld with the Surfex Weld Probe. Now this probe is an array, flexible array probe with two plus points at the end. These plus points can be used to uh, get into the toe area of the weld where it can be difficult to scan with just the array coils, uh, especially for welds with high crowns. Now the Surfex Weld Probe comes with a handle and uh, this handle basically allows um, for even uh, application of pressure along the coils uh, for better results. And also um, it allows you to scan with just one hand, whereas without the handle basically requires two hands to scan. Now all Surfex probes comes with a, um, an encoder. You can use the probes with or without an encoder. Uh, if you want to do any kind of uh, flaw length or distance measurements, uh, an encoder will be required. Okay. So I'll go ahead and attach this handle to the module, like so. And then uh, just insert the plus point part of the probe into the handle. And I will attach the encoder like that. Now I'm ready to scan. So before I scan, I'll perform a instrument null. Okay, so here's my scan. Um, You can see uh, this is my transverse channel. So let's show you what I'm seeing here. Uh, so this is my groove. You can see this is um, the way this is laid out. You have the array coils down in this bottom part of the strip chart. And then this top portion um, where you see the little gap there, the top portion is um, your plus point coils. So you can see uh, my array coils are detecting this transverse groove um, as well as my plus point coils there. Okay. And then uh, you can see the three transverse notches. Um, so this one right here this one would be the one in the heat affected zone. And then uh, this one here is the one in the toe area. And then uh, this one is the one right on the crown. And you can see, if I look at the side view, um, I mean, it is picking out the flaw in the toe area pretty good. 
um, but you can see that the amplitude is reduced. So um, if the crown was higher, then you can see how that might be difficult to uh, detect. Okay. Oh, and then this is my axial channel. So here, um, again, I have, this is the axial notch on the crown. And then uh, this one right there in the middle would be the one in the toe area. And then this will be the one in the heat affected zone. And you can see uh, uh, for the axial notches, it's more, um, uh, more evident that uh, you can possibly miss the one in the toe area. And then uh, this signal right here, that's the 45 degree EDM notch. And then um, there's some other sig signals here you can see, but uh, those are mainly due to this, uh, the unevenness of this weld and it's their liftoff signals. And sometimes they're, they're hard to filter out, but you can use filters or you can uh, adjust your rotation um, to kind of filter those out or kind of, to kind of get those um, reduced. Okay, and it's here I'll adjust the rotation a bit to kind of reduce the signals from the liftoff. All right, so now um, I'll go ahead and scan the heat affected zone and the toe area with this probe. Okay. Now you can see um, this is my this is my uh, transverse notch in the heat affected zone that's being picked up by the array coil, and then what you can see right there on my plus point channel, um, the plus point coils are picking up the um, transverse notch in the toy area pretty easily. And then uh, now to scan the other side, um, you can see that if I were to just go ahead and scan right now, um, my encoder will go off the plate before my coils are uh, done scanning the whole plate. So in this case, what I would have to do is um, reposition my encoder to the other side. I'll go ahead and do that now. So I can just do it like that. Now I'm ready to scan the other side. Okay, and then you can see uh, this is my transverse channel. So um, transverse channel is picking out this 45 degree EDM notch here, but uh, it's not really seeing anything else. If I go to my axial channel, and now you can see um, my plus point coil is picking out the axial notch in the toe area. And then um, the array 
channels are picking out the axial notch in the heat affected zone. Um, and then also the 45 degree notch in the heat affected zone right there. Okay, so that's how you would inspect the butt welds with the Surfex Weld Probe.